Hey guys, what is up? I got a chance to get out to the river yesterday. The waters went down perfectly to fish. It was still a little bit high. I had to slide down the hill. Uh, I kind of fell down the hill, slid, stopped just before I got to the water or whatever. Almost went swimming. But uh, I got out and found some uh, little flatheads at the dam. It was pretty fast action yesterday, but I just want to tell you that uh, uh, dams are one good spot in the spring to catch all kinds of fish, whether it be catfish, walleye, or whatever. These fish migrate upstream and they get stopped by these impassable dams and they tend to stack up there for the first, well, I would say till, till spawn, they stack up there and then they'll, they'll spread out through the rest of the system. But if you wanna find them at the dam, you gotta make sure that you're throwing your bait at structure. They're not, it's not, they're not just floating out in the middle of the water for no apparent reason. They're gonna be around structure during the day, really, really tight. If you're hitting snags, if, if you can feel wood on your line when you reel it in, you're hitting wood, you're probably in a good spot wood and large rock large rocks have cavities in them that these fish can get into just remember the fish structure during the day they're going to be tight to the structure as as night falls and and the sun goes down these fish are going to move into feeding areas which will be uh, shallower flats you'll usually see bait fish popping out it looks like there's nothing out there but it'll be a flat or a run you know shallow water and that's where all the bait fish are going to be and as, as it starts to get dark these flatheads are nocturnal they're going to move out to that shallower area and chase these bait fish that being said i had to cut my trip short yesterday there were some 10 to 12 foot logs floating around they, they stayed stationary for a little while but as the water kept dropping the wave action stirred them up i had these 12 and, and 10 foot logs floating all around they kept catching on my line so i just gave up on that but uh, yeah, just make sure that you fish this structure. And remember, when, when you're fishing the dams and there's current, you want that rig to stay where you put it. So you're gonna have to use a little bit more weight, say like five, six ounce, depending on where you're fishing at. You don't want that current to catch your line and bow it. It'll pull your rig across the bottom and your rig will end up snagged up in some trees somewhere. It won't be in the place where you put it, it'll be downstream. So you wanna make sure when you cast out, you got enough weight to pin that rig to the bottom and don't and tighten your line immediately keep it just tight enough and let it free fall you'll feel it hit the bottom when it'll thump and stop stop your line at that point you don't want it dragging you'll be in a snag so that being said here's some flathead action for you oh i got my uh i'm about to have 2,000 subscribers so i'll be having a giveaway soon i'm not sure what i'm gonna give away yet but it'll be some pretty cool stuff for my sponsors but uh yeah check out these uh flathead clips and i'll catch you again later next time later y'all Hey guys, what's up? I'm down here at the dam, about to try for some flatheads down here at the dam for the first time this year. The water's been really high. I mean, I'd be underwater right now. It's been really high. But it's down low enough, I was managed to scramble myself down here like a billy goat. But uh, we're gonna get these baited up with some creek chubs. We're gonna get out here and see if we can't get a big flathead right quick. It's a little warm, not too bad. A lot of cottonwood floating around. Water's murky. It's about three feet above average, about three feet over. A lot of debris in the water, a lot of big wood, as you can tell. Seeing fish jumping all over, I don't think anybody's been down here yet this year. I think I'm the first one. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna get this baited up, get it on out here. I'm out here using my uh, medium heavy rip and lips rods with my PC Fun uh, Thunder. These are a 300 series reel. Got a spool with 65 pound braid. Eight odd Eagle Claw, 7228, five ounce weight, 50 pound Berkeley big game main or leader. So that's the setup for today. Let's get on out here. Guys.
down here and cast this one. Sorry, it's bad camera angle. I'm on the side of the mountain. Everybody says five to one for the raw power, but I say seven to one to keep them out of the stuff. The flathead guys, flathead, get him. Okay, see the screen. First one, guys. First one of the day. Little bitty guy. Get it back in. Oh, there's another one, guys. Fast action flat hits today. Fast action flat hits today. Don't ever do that if you don't have to. Don't let no slack in that line if you didn't got to. You sit down here so y'all can see my rod. Haha. <laughs> <sighs> He's got me down here in the junk.
number two, guys. Pretty quick. Little flatheads. Get him back in. <laughs> he got me wet twice. It's a dinky-doo, guys. Dinky-doo. 